Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a main menu with your own background image which you can import and we'll also be making an options menu for it so if we click on it we can control the graphics so I'm going to make my graphics low and now when I start my game my graphics on my game are going to be low so we're just going to go over how to make this nice main menu so the first thing we're going to do is right click and create a new folder and I'll just call this main menu and it's going to contain all my main menu stuff I'm just going to go inside I'm just dragging this PNG image I got it from the internet and this will be the background image for my main menu and then inside this folder I'm going to right click again look for user interface and select widget blueprint and call this main menu so this is going to do all our like main menu stuff where we can set the options and start the game so I'll just double click and go inside here and then in the left under palette we want to look for image so this contain the background image for the one I just imported so I'm just going to rename this and call it background and I'm just going to scale it up a bit and if we go to brush and then image we can select the background image so I'm just select my main menu image and I'm just going to drag it up so it fills the whole of this little box and it'll be the background image for my main menu so there's one final thing I'm going to go to anchor and just select that so let's just make it so it's in the center of the screen when it appears in the game so now I'm going to look for a vertical box and this will contain my main menu where we can start the game and all that stuff so I'm just going to call this main menu and anchor it into the center of the screen and then just drag it into the center of the screen so it'll be there when we play and open up our main menu in our game so we're going to add some buttons and we just want to drag them into our main menu so we're going to drag two more buttons into the main menu so one will be start one will be options and one will be quit and then once we've got our buttons we're going to look for text and we're just going to drag them into the buttons so that they can display what they're going to do so I'm just going to drag in these three different buttons. Then if we go to button one, I'm just going to rename it and call it start because this will be important later when we set up in the graph. And if we go under hovered and we want to go to tint, I'm just going to make it red. So when we hover over this, it's going to have a red tint so the player knows he's hovering over it. And I'm just going to go over to the text and call this start so that my player knows when you click start, it will go and I'm gonna change the size of this to 35 so it's a bit bigger so I'm just gonna repeat this process for these different bounds so for this one I'm just gonna name it options as it will contain my options I'll make the tent red so we know when we're hovering over it and I'll go to the text and change it to options and just increase the size so I'm gonna do this for the last one so this one will be quit so I'm just gonna change it to quit and then we'll change it to red again and then we'll change the text and size to quit and the size to 35 and if we click on the main menu we want to click the is variable option and then I'm going to click ctrl c and in my canvas panel click ctrl v so I can duplicate this and this will be the options menu for my game so I'll just call this options menu and this will control the graphics of my game so I'm just going to drag some text and put it in my options menu. I'm just going to drag my text so it's below options menu so it's at the top and I'll make this text say graphics so our player will know this this options menu will control the graphics for the game and I've just made it size 35 so the first button we're going to do a similar thing so I'll just call this uh, low because it'll make my game's graphics low and I'll just make the text low so I'm going to repeat this process with the other two with making one option say medium and one option say high then i'm just going to select this high button and ctrl c and ctrl v to add another button and i'll just call this return so this will allow us to return from the options menu to the main menu so i'm just going to select the text and make it say the words return and then we want to select the options menu and under details we want to look for visibility and under visibility we want to set it to hidden so by default this will be hidden until we click the options menu I'm just going to drag my options menu so it's in front of the graphics menu and now we're going to set up all the blueprints inside to make everything work so if we head over to the options and scroll down we want to click on collect and then we're going to drag in our main menu so we just drag this in get main menu and we're going to drag in our options menu click get options menu and then off of options menu we want to click set visibility so when we click on the options button it's going to make our options menu visible and then we need to set our main menu to be hidden so off of this we're going to look for set visibility 
and just plug this in. Then we're gonna click hidden. So hidden. And then we wanna click to the return button. So when we go off of the options menu, we're just gonna do the reverse. So to save time, I'm just gonna like control C and control V. Okay, I forgot to select that one. So I'm just gonna duplicate it and make it. We'll just plug this into that. And then we're just gonna make this the other way around. So when we click the return button, we're gonna make our options menu hidden. So if we look for hidden, and then we're gonna make our main menu visible. So if we look for visible. So now we've set up our, our options menu switching between the two. So I'm gonna set up my quit button. So on collect, we can just drag off this and look for a quick game and then Unreal Engine will just by default quit the game when we click on that button. Then on the start, on collect, we're gonna open level so I'm going to make us open the default Unreal Engine level. So I'm just going to go to my Blueprints map to see what's called. Right click, rename, and Control C. So I can just get the name of this and go back into it. And Control V and paste. So it will open up the third person example map when we click on this. And then if we go over to my low button, on click, to my medium button, on click, and to my high button, on click. When we click on these buttons, I'm going to make it set the graphics of my game. So on the low one, I'm gonna look for execute console command, and then the command will be scalability. So scalability, and then spacebar, and then zero. So that'll make it the graphics look low. Then I'm just gonna duplicate this. But this time for medium, we wanna set that number to be, uh, I think it's two. And then the graphics will look medium. And then if we do this for high, we want to set the scalability to three and that'll make the graphics look max. So everything could be the highest quality. So we click compile. Now I'm going to set up our main menu level. So I'm going to create a new level and just call this my main menu level. And just double click and save selected. And then we're going to right click, create a blueprint class and select a game mode. And I'll call this main menu. So you want a separate game mode for your like main menu level. So I'm just gonna, under game mode, we're gonna select main menu game mode. So now we're gonna set it up so that our main menu spawns in this level. So if we head over to blueprints, open level blueprint. Then event begin play, we are going to create a widget. And then we're gonna select our main menu widget. And then off of this, we're gonna look for add to viewport. Plug the return value into this. And then we're gonna look for get player controller. Then off of this, we're gonna look for set show mouse cursor. Plug this in, click check, and click compile. Now, if we click play, I'm just gonna change it so mine goes full screen when I click play. I'm gonna go to the options, select medium graphics and click start. So now I'm in my game with medium graphics. Um, there's one little other trick. So we go to our main menu so that we don't have to click our mouse to start the game when we open up the third person level. We can off of the open level, we can look for set input mode game only. Just plug this in and click get player controller. This will just make it so the mouse disappears once we open up our third person example map. And I'll just click compile and click play. So this time we're going to options, set my graphics to low so that they look really horrible. So now if I click return, click start, my graphics are horrible and I'm just instantly in the game. I don't have to click on that again. Hey, that's all for now. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.